What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about several different topics in this video here again today. Talking about Scream 6, talking about Halloween Ends, talking about Joker 2, and talking about Jeepers Creepers Reborn. So just to kick it off with Halloween Ends, Nick Castle shared a tweet out a few days ago of himself recording eight or doing ADR work for Halloween Ends. What I assume is him breathing as Michael Myers sharing his deep breaths for the shape that we know the, that Michael Myers likes to do with that mask on when we see him from his PO, POV shot especially. Uh, and we already know that Nick Castle is not going to be the one making up a majority of the role as Michael Myers this time around. He's just been participating in the trilogy, making these small cameo appearances. We know the gentleman that you see here on your left, James Jude Courtney, will once again be back as our titular shaped character, Michael Myers. So... When it comes to what Nick Castle has also stated, Nick Castle has also stated that we should expect another cameo in this movie of him, I'm assuming outside of the costume of Michael Myers, but he still will be lending his voice for some deep breathing for the shape. But I'm going to guess that maybe we'll see him appear as some random bum hobo potentially or some random Haddonfield character, one or the other. Not that the hobo can't be a Haddonfield character, but you get me. <laughs> the other thing that we need to talk about is some people are picking up on a date that they think we might get a first look or first listen to the soundtrack John Carpenter has ready for Halloween ends. August 17th was apparently the day we got a first listen to the Halloween Kill soundtrack. So a lot of people are going to theorize and think that that means that maybe this Friday this week we'll get to hear a first track from the soundtrack of Halloween ends because we know John Carpenter has made it clear or indicated that the score is ready so hopefully we'll get to hear something from that sooner rather than later because the movie is supposed to come out in October it's supposed to be the final saga between Laurie Strode and Michael Myers as we know it and this should be Jamie Lee Curtis's last portrayal as the character of Laurie Strode jumping into Scream 6 we need to talk about Courtney Cox Courtney Cox has announced on her Instagram page today that she has officially wrapped filming for Scream 6 as Gail Weathers out in Montreal. She made this announcement again via short video on her Instagram page with her sitting down announcing it and then trying to watch some TV before her TV was taken over with her like security camera footage of Ghostface popping up kind of like in reference to what was going on when she was at the Stabathon in Scream 4 uh, but she basically expressed how thankful she is not thankful but that she's excited to have that behind her she's done and we should all look forward to what we have to get from Gail Weathers in Scream 6 some people will think that oh she's finished before filming rap that means she's dying doesn't mean that at all considering that she arrived what like a month ago on set after they started filming a month prior uh in june she arrived in july like sh shortly after the 4th of July. So just because she's done and they maybe not be completely done shooting the movie doesn't mean that she's going to have a small role. It doesn't mean she's going to die. I will also point this out. She could stay there from start to finish, point A to point B. She could have been there from June to now. And that doesn't mean she's just making it out of the movie alive. She could be there from start to finish and die. Just because she was here and she's finished before they're done rapping doesn't mean that she's dying. But hopefully when we get Scream 6, Gail does have a pretty significant role. Hopefully she has a lot to do with the resolution related to Ghostface. Hopefully we can dig into a little bit more of her life as a New Yorker since we know she's living in New York. That's where her and Dewey broke up. She has a she has a show that she's a host of and just dive into her New York life because we already know we should probably expect not confirmed that we maybe we'll see her house and see her life situation in new york so gail i would assume is going to have a pretty significant role with sydney not being as important this time around once again so jumping into jeepers creepers reborn jeepers creepers reborn so many people still think that this movie is a complete reboot completely no connection to the first two movies i want everybody to look at the top of this screen and look at what that is it's a little blurry but that is the post puncher that i know i've made a video telling you they recreated for the production of this movie here you see the creeper crawling out of what is their depiction or recreation of the taggart barn and then the creeper will go on to stalk chase and lane and their friends at the horror hound event and again you can see that this is clearly the creeper crawling out of that barn just because it's not starting up maybe with ray wise's character of jack taggart and it's not giving you the connections that you hoped it would and just because i know that they've come out and they've said that this is like a retelling in their eyes and not really having a lot to do with what has come before 
it still in a way does have a lot to do with it in only in the sense that they're acknowledging that those movies happened and they're just going to rock with their own iteration from now on going forward so as you saw here in that last image that was clearly the post puncher which belonged to jack taggart and the creeper will awaken in that barn he will escape and he'll go on to stalk chase and lane at the horror hound event later in the movie uh there's also been this 30 second clip that fathom events has put out as well that kind of shows some new bits of the movie one it looks like chase battling the creeper the other one looks like chase acknowledging the existence of the creeper legend talking to someone at the event and i think some other bit of the creeper grabbing someone up one of the victims that i guess the creeper will have just a short new 30 second clip put out by fathom events if you already got your tickets let me know down in the comment section below and i'll leave a link to this footage of this 30 second clip i'm talking about as well in the description for you guys to see but we're gonna finish this off once again with joker 2 joker folly i do variety put out something from an insider that's saying that uh, both joaquin phoenix and director todd phillips are believed to be getting tw 20 million paydays and new co-star lady gaga is getting 10 million so those salaries combined with the cost of producing complicated musical sequence sequences that i guess are going to happen in joker 2 uh and they said it's more like a star is born means that the sequel will cost roughly 150 million to produce so with them saying that this musical aspect of it is going to be like a star is born more so than in the heights that gets me excited only because that then tells me we should expect something that again i guess is not in the same vein as greece or you know something else that's again like an in the heights it's going to be more so like a star is born so that means that you'll have moments where the music might just be woven into the natural progression of the storyline without constantly being portrayed as this musical and musical only like i said before i could see the characters like how Z zizi uh put out her comments or zazi put out her comments about it using the dancing and the musical numbers to express the emotions and all this turmoil going on within these characters i've already talked about how harley quinn lady gaga's iteration of harley quinn could be imagining herself with joker fantasizing about it or maybe she just burst out in song with him at the end of the movie when she helps him escape that could be the final sequence we get let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification so you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course limiters any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video